I think coming to a close for the podcast today, you know, I would categorize this as a classic, you know, TED Talk slash masterclass on market volatility, <laughs> right? And I think this will go down as, as one of those podcasts that, you know, when you, when you see further events in volatility, the things we talked about today can easily be referenced in the next 10% plus correction. And ultimately, at the end of the day, you need to be investing for your goals, your objectives, and more importantly, your time horizon. So I think that is a very well put together podcast uh, on both of our ends. So great job, Mark. Yeah, yeah, I think it was good. Hopefully, um, people got a lot out of this. And hopefully we made sense of, of at least of what some is somewhat is going on. Sure. Um, you know, again, turning on the news and watching the, the fear mongering headlines is not going to do anything else other than add stress. Um, Correct. It's not going to make things better. Um, so why add that additional stress to your life? That's right. And sometimes uh, not taking action or actually buying on the weakness is the better uh, move. It's the hardest thing to do, but a lot of times it's the right move. Correct. I think that was a, a Buffett quote too. So those people that are bearish on, on Apple and want to follow Buffett, sometimes you just got to sit on your hands. So it's tough to do sometimes.